Have you ever wondered how ARP poisoning works? Let's take a step back and start with the basics. ARP or Address Resolution Protocol is a communication protocol used for discovering the link layer address, such as a MAC address associated with a given network layer address, typically an IP address. It's a vital part of how the internet functions. Now, imagine someone manipulates this process. That's where ARP poisoning comes into play. It's a hacking method that allows an attacker to intercept data frames on a network by associating their MAC address with the IP address of another host, such as the default gateway. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? Understanding ARP poisoning is crucial because it's a common and potentially harmful type of cyber attack. It can lead to data theft, loss or corruption, and even network paralysis. Now that you have a basic understanding of ARP, let's delve into the concept of ARP poisoning. So, how exactly does ARP poisoning work? To answer that question, we first need to understand what ARP is. The Address Resolution Protocol, or ARP, is a protocol used in a local network to map an IP address to a physical address, also known as a MAC address. This mapping is critical for devices in the network to communicate with each other. Now, let's dive into ARP poisoning. Imagine you're at a party and you're trying to find your friend Bob. You ask around, hey, who here is Bob? And someone responds, I'm Bob. You're now communicating with this person thinking they're Bob. But what if they're not Bob? What if they're an imposter pretending to be Bob? That's essentially what ARP poisoning is. In the context of a network, the imposter is an attacker's device. The attacker sends fake ARP messages to the network devices, tricking them into associating the attacker's MAC address with the IP address of another device, like the network gateway or another user's computer. This process is known as spoofing. Once the spoofing is successful, the attacker's device can intercept, modify or block communications between the two original devices. This is because the network devices now believe that the attacker's device is the intended communication partner. For example, if the attacker spoofs the network gateway's IP address, all data intended for the gateway will be sent to the attacker's device. The attacker can then inspect the data, modify it or even inject malicious code before forwarding it to the actual gateway. This manipulation of the ARP protocol to intercept data is what we call ARP poisoning. It's a potent tool in the hands of cyber criminals, allowing them to launch various attacks such as denial of service, man in the middle, or even session hijacking. So in essence, ARP poisoning is like a magic trick, a sleight of hand that diverts the flow of data, allowing the attacker to step in and control the conversation without anyone noticing. That's the basics of how ARP poisoning works. But what does this mean for network security? When it comes to network security, Understanding ARP poisoning is crucial. ARP or Address Resolution Protocol is like the postman of the internet. It delivers data packets to their correct addresses within a network. But what happens when the postman is tricked, when he's duped into delivering the mail to the wrong address? That, my friends, is the essence of ARP poisoning. Imagine for a moment a cyber criminal who has infiltrated your network. They're like a wolf in sheep's clothing pretending to be a trusted device. Once they've convinced the network of their disguise, they start their malicious operation. They trick the network into sending them data that was intended for another device. This is the heart of ARP poisoning, the interception and misdirection of data. Now, what are the implications of this for network security? Well, let's just say they are far from ideal. The intercepted data can contain sensitive information like login credentials or financial details. And once a cyber criminal has those, well, the possibilities for damage are endless. They can steal money, commit identity theft, or even hold your data ransom. Furthermore, the compromised network can be used as a launching pad for attacks on other networks. The infiltrator can use their newfound access to spread their influence, like a disease spreading through the body. This means that the security of not just one, but potentially many networks can be jeopardized by a single ARP poisoning attack. So, you see, ARP poisoning isn't just a threat to individual devices, it's a threat to entire networks. It can compromise the security of data and systems on a wide scale. It's a bit like a domino effect. Once one piece falls, the rest can quickly follow. It's clear that ARP poisoning poses a significant threat to network security.
but what can be done to prevent it? Stay tuned as we explore this in the next scene. Preventing ARP poisoning is not an impossible task. Indeed, it's quite manageable with the right tools and techniques at your disposal. Let's delve into some of these measures we can employ to keep our network safe and sound. First off, we have ARP spoofing detection. This method involves systems that monitor network traffic for any anomalies. When these systems notice a sudden change or irregularity, such as an IP address that doesn't match the MAC address it's associated with, they will alert the network administrator. This early warning system gives the admin a chance to identify and isolate the threat before it can do any significant harm. Next, we have a technique known as Dynamic ARP Inspection, or DAI. This is a security feature often found in switches. DII scrutinizes ARP packets on the LAN and uses the data it has learned from the DHCP binding table to validate ARP packets. If a packet is deemed invalid, it's immediately discarded, stopping the potential threat in its tracks. But what if you're on a public network, or perhaps you're a remote worker accessing the company network from home? In these cases, a virtual private network or VPN can be your best friend. A VPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel for your data to travel through. It obscures your IP address, making it much harder for a potential attacker to target you with ARP poisoning. Of course, these aren't the only techniques out there. Regular network audits, keeping software up to date, and educating users about the risks and signs of ARP poisoning are also crucial parts of a comprehensive prevention strategy. Remember, in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is power. The more you understand about threats like ARP poisoning, the better equipped you'll be to prevent them. With these techniques, you can effectively mitigate the risk of ARP poisoning and enhance your network security. So stay vigilant, stay informed, and keep your network safe.